G'day everybody. Um, today I am going to show you how to rebuild a Crown 3 coil for a sub ohm tank. Now this method can be used with most sub ohm coils. Um, the Crown 3 one is just actually quite long so the Crown 4 would be a bit easier because it's shorter, you don't have to stretch the coil or anything out like I'll show you in this video. But yeah, you can take this to most sub tanks and give it a whirl so you don't have to throw them out. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's start taking this one apart. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver. First off, you're going to want to take this metal uh, the positive out so I'll just get in there above the airing try not to damage that that comes out now this coil I have pre-washed so take out the rubber gasket like so then you're left with your coil now this looks relatively good but it has been used and it's been washed. So now, take out the coil, just pull it. Now, this is the coils that come in. Which one's this one? The Crown 2.5. It's one wire that's been, looks like it's been soldered into two wires. I don't know if you can see that because it's quite thin to focus but it's one on one side and it splits into two now grab your, your tweezers and pull out the cotton that's in there now this cotton looks pretty good but it didn't look so good before I washed it. So you can wash them first if you choose. But just go in there and pluck out as much as the cotton, well, all of the cotton. With this one, it's, it's a little bit weird. I'll show you why it's weird in a minute. Fortunately, I can only get a tiny bit of sheet at a time. Some are easier than others, but that's what this one's like. Okay, so with this one, that is actually between two parts that have been press fit together. I, I've tried taking it apart, <laughs> and it's quite hard. But you can wash that and make that cotton nice and new. It's only a thin layer. Um, I wash mine in food grade ethanol, which is like not rubbing alcohol. You could, but you've got to rinse it really well. Um, I tend to use food grade ethanol, which is undenatured ethanol. Um, the Americans call it grain alcohol. I think it's, it, it's similar to grain alcohol. You could use terps. I think it was terps. Metho? No, that's it. Use metho, but you'll have to rinse it really well. Don't use terps. Right, so that's what it looks like on the inside. Get a bit of focus there for you. And we're actually ready to rebuild now. So I found if you've got one, use a four. This is a four. I presume that's four mil. Um, ideally, the originals are about four and a half, but four will do fine. If you've got something a little bigger, you can. But this is the biggest one I've actually got. Um, some of your screwdrivers might be the right size. But this is good. I am going to use just a single strand 
stainless steel 24 gauge. Um, I have done this with Clapton wire and it's possible, it's just for the purposes of this video, it's actually easier to use a single strand because of the bends that we'll uh, do. Grab a nice generous amount. And do some wraps. I'll, I'll actually, I'll get the, um, I've got a coil here. So this one has been done with a Clapton wire. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see in there. But you might have a chance if it focused. Do this. Come on. Yeah, kind of. Not really. It's a small Clapton wire. So with this, it needs to be about that long, but we're going to stretch ours, so I might do about six or seven wraps with this, and then we'll uh, do it spaced. So that's one, actually that's two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I think seven should be okay. Now with single strand, you, you can try to get it nice, but because we're spacing this, see that looks horrible. But because we're spacing it, we'll actually fix all that up. just roughly wrapped and then I like to space it and then kind of push it together like a spring and that evens it out a bit more does the job so what lengths are we looking at we probably need that a bit longer so we'll put some bigger spacings in there Pull it from both sides that looks pretty good okay now we've got to put in the bends so with your shortest side, you do want a quite a bit of length on the end. With your shortest side, try to grab it nice and close. I'm grab it about there for me. So I'm not used to this camera angle. Everything is reversed. That that way. So I'm just grabbing it with the tweezers and giving it a right angle, just like that. Easy. Then what I do, I need to wrap that a bit more. Just watching. How long is that paint been there? I just put it out there about half an hour ago. Sorry about that. I need to give this a bit more of a wrap because we've got to come to the opposite side of that leg. So it was on the same side. You don't want that. Yeah. Now it's on the opposite side of that leg. Grab it with the tip of your tweezers. So, I actually might do a little less. And bend it parallel with the coil. And if there's a slight bend in the wire, just try to straighten it out. Just like that. 
Oh, sorry. My, my frame's just fallen. Alright. And it's not charging, so I better hurry up. There we go. That way. Where I was first. Just like that. Now, we can cut a bit of that off, but you still want to leave it quite long. Now we um, prep it for some cotton. I have lost a coil. There it is. So with cotton, um, I like to use the Japanese cotton pads. Um, but you can use like a cotton bacon. I'll show you how to use that. That might not be enough. So grab out some cotton bacon and just gently try to make it even and flat. Oh, it's got a bit of shit stuck to it. So you want to pull it all out, nice and even spaced. You don't want to be able to see through it like too much, but a little bit is is okay because when you wrap it, it should cover it all up. But you don't want it too thick. You kind of want a nice and even flat pad, about the length between the top and this ring here. So we're looking. Just about right, so I'm going to gently take off that excess. So now this is our pad. See, you can kind of see through little bits, but that's fine. It's all nice and even. Now we wrap it. So to wrap it, I like to put it on a coiling rod first. This leg's in the way. There we go. Um, that one uh, pull that top lead out a bit so you can get in under it with your cotton, just like that. Might have to put that cotton a little bit more together, but it's better to do that. And tuck it in there, and you want it right up against that top of the coil and the top of that lead that we bent out. Now, taut without ripping the cotton, you want to wrap it at least one full time over. under the lead and once you've done under the lead bend that lead back and wrap it again now I like to just kind of eye off if that's enough cotton I'm actually going to put on a little wrap more there we go It is harder to add it than it is to take it away, so if it's too much, it is it, it quite easy just to unwrap it. Now that lead's bent down, it's under the cotton. The cotton is um, nice and taut. Now get it and try placing it in the coil. Now if it's not going in too easily, you might have to take off some cotton but it does have to be a little tight so 
first part is the hardest. See it's pushing a bit there so I'm actually just going to bring it up. And I like to twist in the direction that we were wrapping the cotton. Now if you can give it a, give it a little encouragement There we go. The coil is in there now. So now with the coiling rod in there, you want to tuck the cotton in. If the coil's not all the way in. Guide it a bit more, but that's in. Guide that cotton around without exposing too much of the coil. Now, because this is a space coil, um, we didn't have to heat it up before we put it in so if it wasn't spaced I would suggest using a burner and making it glow before putting it in um, but because this one is spaced so well we won't have any hot spots now that's nice in there you probably can't, yeah, you can kind of see in there. I do it with a rod so I can kind of center it. So if I feel like I need more pushed on that side, I can pop a bit more in. Um, but that's looking good. I'll do the top just gently. Now pull that coiling rod out. The coil sits in there nicely. Looks alright from the top. As long as the cotton, uh, you can't see the coil at the top. So the, the top part of the coil that we wound, because it'll create a short at the top there. Now you get your negative, oh, the negative one is the one on the outside here. So put on your insulator over the one that's coming through the middle. I like to give it a, a little bit of a bend and cut it just about here and it was focused and now it's not just about here you don't want it sticking out but you need it to make nice contact and it's gone okay put on your insulator and grommet now continue to bend that wire down now we gave it a little little head start but I compress it down nice and tight without pushing it in I just pushed it in But pull it back. There we go. Perfect. You can see it just sticking out a tiny bit. Now with your positive, give that a little bend. I like to cut it in the middle of the red grommet. And then stick on the metal positive and compress it. And you don't want, come on, you don't want it touching. You want that above the grommet. So if you can, you can tuck that, just push it behind that positive. like this and that's it you can tidy up the top
yep. But any cotton in the way. That's it, that's done. That's ready to go in and vape on. Alright. I hope you have good luck with that. And now you don't have to throw all your coils away. With this method you can wash and use them a lot. Unfortunately with the crown it's got the cotton already sandwiched between the coil um, but a lot of coils don't have that so good luck and thanks for watching